congratulations, first of all. Thank you. Uh, I have to ask, uh, you are really the only American actor in this film. Um, <laughs> that's funny, very, yeah. Yeah, it's a yeah that's right. With a very international cast. Yeah. It's an Italian film yeah. about Sarajevo. How did you get mixed up in this? They, the Italians got it in their head to just send me the script. It was really, that was what it was, you know. Um, for they, they, they uh, you know, Margaret and Sergio thought that I would make a Diego. What did you think? I was, uh, you know, I read the script and I thought it was really, there was a lot of intensity. But I, 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 uh, I was unsure at first because it was like, could I play this part? You know, did I have the, did, because in the, in the novel he's originally Italian, but they changed it. So I said, you know, Am I ready to play this kind of part? But I did some, some soul searching and the chance to get a work with, you know, Penelope and Sergio, I was like, this is, this is a, a really unique opportunity for me. Yeah, let's talk. Sorry, go ahead. And especially to be able to go to that part of the world and, you know, Italy and Sarajevo and Croatia, we also shot there for a little bit. It was just a really big opportunity of traveling and experience and it was a really unique shoot. I can imagine. Yeah. Uh, let's talk a little bit about you know, the Penelope and Sergio and Margaret. I mean, you've got Margaret, who's the novelist, and then Sergio, who is her husband, the screenwriter, the director, he acts in it. Their son is in it. Penelope has a relationship with them. Uh, what was that like for you coming into that? I mean, was it a little bit intimidating? Did you feel like an outsider coming on that stage? Yeah, of course. I mean, at first I felt like an outsider, but it was such a tight-knit group that they kind of just brought you right in and you kind of felt like a member of the family really quick and lots of spending time after after work and you know dinners and pasta and you're in Italy and you're going to all these Italian restaurants it was really like vacation for a lot of the time I've been to Italy yeah we <laughs> we were in like Croatia right on the shore in this place called Korčula which is this little island and I, 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 was so, I would just be like jogging and all my off time around this little island with my iPod on and then we'd like sit down and have dinner and it was just so nice. So nice. And what about working with Penelope? I mean, did you, um, did you collaborate with her? Did you hit it off right away? Uh, what was that relationship like on the set? We just got along really well from the get-go. Like as soon as I kind of like discovered her sense of humor and she kind of discovered mine, that was when we really started to click. I don't know, I mean, I just, uh, you know, I wouldn't say I got to have a demented sense of humor, but I have, you know, I've got a wicked sense of humor. So um, we would just, I would just be making her laugh and she would be making me laugh. And that kind of goofing around is really helpful because it's like, it's just, it's energy, you know, and, and it's more fun when you're having a good time. Even if you're doing scenes that are maybe a little bit uncomfortable, if you can really enjoy the work, I think it'll be better. If you can look forward to it every day. We got another movie uh, coming out, The Motel Life, with uh, Dakota Fanning, Stephen Dorff, who's also in town this week. Um, it, this is a real change of pace. What was that like? Can you tell me about your character in this one? That, th that, that character is kind of like a down and out, kind of quiet guy who, uh, he's very shy and quiet and doesn't like to express his emotions too much and he, he's sort of dealing with a crazy brother that he has who's run into some trouble. You know, you've had an amazing career. You've been at this since you were a kid and um, you've made that transition from child to adult, you know, unscathed really. I mean, you, you've done something right. You know, how, how come we haven't seen you in, you know, making the front pages of the tabloids for all these years? Well, I think, I don't know. I mean, I guess I just haven't chosen films that um, put you in that position necessarily or been in films that put you in that position. Most of the time, the, the, that, that kind of tabloid stuff, like, you know, you gotta do like Harry Potter or something like that. You well, know? I mean that, I just mean like, you know, making the transition of, you know, not doing anything bad. You know, you've been a good boy, and you've been, um, mm. you know, you've uh, been very responsible throughout that transition from child to adult. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess it was just, you know, the way I was raised. Simple as that. <laughs> okay, well, that's terrific. Uh, thanks so much for this. Congratulations on the film role and all the best in the future. All right, thank you.